Hello everybody from Medical Terminology, my name is Rachel Rodriguez Cruz and today is the 5th of June. Uh, this is week 11 presentation of the endocrine system, this is the back of my car, uh, of the endocrine system and the condition that I chose to present was hypothyroidism and um, this is also known for um, or called for an underactive uh, thyroid, which what happens here is the thyroid gland is no longer producing the hormones that uh, it normally does on a regular basis. Um, so first of all, the thyroid gland has a butterfly shape and is located uh, right here under the uh, thyroid cartilage and the cricoid cartilage. So like right here and um, like I mentioned it has a butterfly shape um, so the thyroid, the thyroid hormones control how our bodies use energy and by doing so it can affect um, all or nearly all of our own organs functions starting with like the heart the lungs uh, endocrine uh, reproductive system any organ um, that requires energy, which is most of them, it can um, have detrimental effect on it. Um, so the thyroid uh, gland, it releases um, two hormones, Th4, and, I'm sorry, T4 and T3. Um, and in this condition, in hypothyroidism, so, um, these two hormones will be low. Uh, which means, of course, the thyroid gland is not releasing these hormones um, at the same level that it should. Um, so I'm going to do like a chain of um, reaction. So kind of like explain how this happens. So the hypothalamus releases a hormone called T. RH, which is thyroid releasing hormone. This goes into the anterior pituitary gland, which um, releases the anterior pituitary gland is the one that releases TSH, TSH which is thyroid uh, stimulating hormone. And this hormone travels all the way down to the thyroid, to the thyroid gland to release T4 and T3. So, uh, by having our, in our body T4 and T3 levels very low, our, hi, um, hi, um, our like hormones in the pituitary glands are like, oh my god, like we need uh, TSH, so um, then, the then, then the hypothalamus is like, oh wait, I'll send you more TRH, so uh, we'll have high levels of TRH and TSH in our body and then low levels of T4 and T3 in our body. Um, some signs and symptoms that can be shown in patients suffering from hypothyroidism is uh, fatigue, weight gain, uh, trouble tolerating cold, joint and muscle pain, dry skin, thinning of the hair, um, heavy or irregular menstrual cycle, slower heart rate, um, depression, also fertility um, problems and issues. Um, and many of these symptoms can be also very common in other conditions. So uh, in order to diagnose um, and of course treat properly these conditions, the doctors would do um, a blood test exam a simple blood drawn that would um, show the levels of TH4, T3, TSH uh, in our body. And also they might want to do some kind of imaging of the uh, cervical portion of our body so they can see how the thyroid is, if it's like inflamed or if it's not. Um, they also do like a physical exam where like they can palpate the thyroid and see if it's um, swollen or not. Um, and lastly, how the disease is treated? Well, um, since it would be like through hormone replacement, since we're lacking Th4 and T3, and 
the like the most common example of medications that providers give to their patient is called levothyroxine and then after a couple of weeks that they prescribe it they would do a follow-up with the patient and do some more lab tests um, and like do the physical exam again and of course ask them questions see how they're feeling if they're no longer fatigued uh, if they have muscle pain still or if they're not and see like just to check to make sure that the medicine is actually working and doing what it's supposed to which is replacing um and boosting our body with th4 and t3 and thank you so much i think that covers it all have a wonderful day bye bye